Welcome back to Movie Summary. Today we are diving into a film called Dangerous Lies. Katie is a waitress when one day someone robs her dinner but thankfully her husband Adam saves the day by attacking the robber. Four months later, she gets a job as caretaker for an old man named Leonard. The couple is struggling financially so she asks him to hire Adam as well. Adam starts taking care of Leonard's yard. Until one day, they discovered Leonard dead. They also discover $100,000 in cash in the house. Katie isn't too much into it but Adam convinces her and they take the money to deposit in a safe at a bank. Meanwhile a weird real estate agent named Mickey has been following them. One day, the couple get a visit from Julia, who presents herself as Leonard's lawyer. She gives them his will and announces Leonard left everything to Katie, including the house. The couple is in disbelief. Julia then takes Katie aside and asks about Adam. She continues by saying that legal Katie is the one making all the decisions. But Katie reassures her they take decisions together as a couple. But Julia warns her these life-changing moments can change people. The couple then get to eat in their new house for the first time, they are excited about this new future ahead. Adam talks to her about ways they get around with that cash so no one will know, but Katie reminds him to be careful. The next day, they are packing stuff at their old apartment when Adam gets call about the incident four months ago. He is asked to go to the police, but when he arrives they are not aware of that phone call. He sees Detective Chesler and says he doesn't understand as they already have the guy locked up. She then announces to him that the robber was stabbed in his cell couple weeks ago. Katie is in their new house when she hears a noise outside. She steps out and it's Mickey. She is surprised to see him on their property. He reminds her his client really wants the house and is willing to buy as ASAP. Katie repeats again, it's not for sale. She wants him to leave now. But Mickey gets cold and tells her it's not his first rodeo. He informs her he had his eyes on the house for years now and adds that, she thinks he will let them move in like that and smile? She responds that she owns the house now. He doesn't believe her but she threats him to call the police if he doesn't leave. The mysterious Mickey then leaves. Later that night, she tells the story to Adam. But he tells her to forget about him. It's the couple's first night in their new house. Katie goes to the shower just find an expensive watch there. She confronts him about it but Adam says it's not real, it's fake watch. She finds it very convincing. The next day, Detective Chesler goes to the dinner where the incident happened four months ago, then to the couple's old apartment where she finds Katie packing. She is surprised to hear them moving into Leonard's house. She reveals she came by to speak to Adam. She continues by asking specific questions on what Adam was doing that night four months ago. She immediately calls Adam and goes back home. He sees her arriving and seems angry. He reveals to her that he doesn't like how she keeps talking to Julia the lawyer. But Katie is getting tired of him making many of their decisions on his own. Adam then tells her he thinks he has been followed. At the police station, Chesler is investigating the bank details of Leonard as well as Adam. Katie on her end is thinking of giving back that money, because Julia said if they found out they are hiding something they can lose everything. But Adam tells he is not going back to being poor. Later that day, Chesler questions Mr. Calver, the head of the agency that sent Katie to work for Leonard. She asks about Adam but he didn't know he was working there as gardener. She also shows him the big check Leonard gave to her and he is shocked. Meanwhile, Katie finds a bed and many stuff in the garage as if someone has been living in there. She then discovered another hidden room with a bloody prints on the wall. In there, she finds a check to man named Ethan that was never cashed. But when she looks up she discovers a body with a bag filled with diamonds. Katie tells it to Adam and thinks it's the gardener that used to work for Leonard, Ethan. Mr. Calver then arrives and accuses Katie for taking advantage of Leonard. He wants her arrested and she closes the door on him. Later that night, Katie discovers an inconsistency with Leonard's pills. Adam then arrives and she wants to call Chesler to tell her about Ethan's body. But Adam stops her saying the police will be looking into them heavily if they do that. Adam doesn't want to lose this house but she reminds him they don't need the house. She tells him as long as they have each other, Adam stands up mad saying that this house is theirs and that will take care of the body. That night, he puts the body in the trunk of his car and gets rid of all evidences of Ethan. Hours later Katie wakes up to Adam with a gun saying someone is in the house. 
she wonders where he got that gun. The person walks the stairs, Adam opens up and it's Mr. Calver. The poor man gets scared and falls down the stairs to his death. They call the police. Chesler wonders what was Mr. Calver doing. She then whispers to Katie that whatever is going on, it's Adam's fault. Everything was fine until he started working here, but Katie is upset to hear that. Chesler then reveals that Ray, the man who robbed the dinner four months ago, was working as a janitor at the college with Adam was taking classes. She gives her an advice, at one point Adam will screw but don't let him take him with you, come to me. Days later, Katie goes to talk to Julia about what Chesler told her. And she believes if she has a case she will move quickly to get a search of the house. But Katie makes Julia promise to help Adam if anything. She then brings her to the safe with the $100,000 are but it's empty. She realizes Adam probably took it. She also reveals to Julia that they found diamonds in the house as well. Julia then tells her that's why Adam took it, he suspects something and plans to disappear. She tells her to find him, bring him to the house and call her after. Meanwhile the police finds Ethan's body in a garbage dumpster. Katie arrives home and finds Adam with the money on the bed. She asks him why he took the money. Adam reveals he made his researches and there is no real estate agents called Mickey, that man just got released from prison. They put two and two together realizing he was working with Ethan to rob jewelry store. Katie wants to call the police but Adam wants to just get the hell out of here and disappear. Katie then calls Julia but Mickey arrives from behind and breaks her phone. He points his gun and wants to know where are the diamonds. Adam then arrives with a gun pointing back at him. But Mickey doesn't hesitate and shoots him. He slaps Katie too. He then goes to Adam who shoots him back. Mickey collapses dead and Katie goes to check on Adam who dies in her hands. But before he tells her where he put the diamonds, Julia then finally shows up. She comforts Katie who realizes Mickey is the one who killed Leonard with an overdose. Julia then stands up, takes Mickey's gun and reveals to Katie she was his accomplice. She was his lawyer and he told her about the diamonds, they made a deal. Katie is shocked and realizes the will was not real. Detective Chesler then shows up and successfully shoots Julia. Katie is in tears. We then jump four months later. Chesler visits Katie while gardening. They hug and Chesler realizes she is pregnant. Chesler says they searched the house but Katie repeats she doesn't know where are the diamonds. Chesler then leave and the camera reveals the diamonds in the tree. The movie then ends. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out other movie summaries we have on our channel.